Kelly Hansen filling in for Steve today. Thanks, Kelly. Yes. Okay, thanks to the work from home culture, you now know what the inside of most of our homes looks like. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes, Sometimes you see weird stuff. <laughs> I often get asked about my paint color All or good. pictures on my wall, but our movie guy is getting a lot of attention from the stars about his movie room. Take a look. <laughs> I love your background. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. <laughs> we have a really big movie collection here in our house. <laughs> oh, it's real. I thought it was it real. It is real, yes. No, I, I could pull out the shelf right now. Ooh, just... Wow. <laughs> is that a background or is that your collection? This is my like my, my theater room, our theater room in our house. And we've got wow. like, posters on the other side. Henry, I've got an ET frame poster over there signed by oh, Kathleen wow. Kennedy. And it's all of our like movies that we own. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the amazing display <laughs> there behind you. Good. Wow. We are That's huge crazy. Pixar fans in this house. So thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite film behind you? Stand by me. Nice. I have about seven copies of it behind me. Well done. I like that display right behind you. Oh, Patty, <laughs> thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support behind you there. Oh my, I'm just glad you noticed. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Thank oh you. Oh my God, I love it. I'm just like, oh, I see that Batman yeah. back there and I Love Lucy, that's so cool. What is it like having all those DVDs knowing that you now have the streaming service so that you could, you know, you could do something else with all those, right? Oh, no, 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 I love physical media. I mean, whenever I want, I can just pick something out and they'll never be gone, you know, like they're that's always right. with you. And, and you paid movies. you paid for them once and you'll never have to pay for them again. Right? And they're conversation starters, exactly. <laughs> Okay, I love that so much, Paul. I could so cry. Great. That is so sweet, and you are so that was amazing. cute. That is so much fun. Okay, so you've got to tell us. We saw Tom Hanks there at the end about this Tom Hanks movie, News of the World, which is available on demand. Yeah, he plays a Civil War vet who travels from town to town after the Civil War to try to call for unity. He shares the headlines, he tells stories in an attempt to bring people together again after the Civil War. And again, another strong performance from Tom Hanks. And part of this too is he's trying to reunite this young girl that he finds abandoned with her family. So if you're thinking, I don't know, I don't do Civil War, I don't do Western, director Paul Greengrass really makes this a movie for the times. There are so many parallels to what's going on today, how we can try to use the news to come together again, and what happens when we maybe don't communicate well with one another. Ooh, Look at that, Paul. This. I want to see that too. Give us your <laughs> ticket stubs. Four out of five ticket stubs Ooh. for this. Another strong Tom Hanks performance, as always. All right, Paul, you also got to sit down with the stars of Promising Young Woman. Let's take a look. Every week, I go to a club. I act like I'm too drunk to stand. And every week, a nice guy comes over to see if I'm okay. You okay? I feel like there's a really delicate balance with your character and like sympathizing with her and not just kind of treating her like the villain like we would see in 90s revenge movies that this is kind of inspired by. How did you and Emerald work together to really find that good balance? I think it was it was really a lot of conversation between the two of us. I think we started off by figuring out who she was before all of this um, and what led her to this sort of these life choices um, that are pretty questionable. Um, so, just, you know, figuring out what, why this all began um, was the first thing. Then it was a lot of, of conversation between the two of us and two, not just in sort of the run up, but every day on set, we were constantly sort of going back and forth on, on um, and calibrating that. And I think Emerald's direction was just so, uh, everything, everything she said to me on set was invaluable. You remember what happened, right? why I dropped out. I'm not the only one who didn't believe it. Emerald, um, I read that you were inspired by movies like To Die For and Fargo. What was it about those movies that 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 you wanted to incorporate into Promising Young Woman? Well, I think, I mean, firstly, they're just so beautiful, those films. And I think I'm very, always really beguiled by things that look gorgeous, but have this sort of sticky, unseemly underbelly. Probably the first examples I can think of where there were female characters who were, you know, really complex, unusual. I could talk to you guys for so long about this movie. Congratulations again. I cannot wait to just hear what people have to say about it. I was hoping you'd feel differently by now. Ooh, I want to see Paul. this yes. movie. Okay, tell us about it. I loved everything about this movie. So it's unique. It's jaw-dropping. It makes you uncomfortable. And she... Um, Carrie Mulligan plays this woman in Cassie who has dealt with a lot of trauma and PTSD and abuse. And how does she then kind of seek revenge on those people in her life? And 
I mean, you have her who's giving the best performance of her career, Emerald Fennell. This is her first film, and she's going to have a huge career ahead of her as a director and writer. And like we were talking about, she plays Camilla Parker Bowles on The Crown. You've got I was Adam like, who Rose, is she? Who is she? Camilla Parker Bowles, yeah. Bo Burnham, Adam Brody, Christopher Plus, all kind of playing outside their normal realm, Then, which then makes this ride even more unpredictable. And by the end, you will be in conversation about what this movie has to say about sexual assault, victims, blaming. It just is so topical and wow. maybe unpredictable at the same time. Ticket stubs, sir. Four and a half out of five ticket stubs. This was my number three film of 2020. I loved it oh, so much. Look wow. at that. Okay, before we go, we got just a little bit of time to talk about One Night in Miami, which is something you can stream on Amazon Prime. What's to love about this guy? This is uh, another from my top 10 list, and it's from director Regina King, Emmy and Oscar winner. It's her film directorial debut, and it's kind of this imaginary meeting between Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, uh, those are the same person, Malcolm X, <laughs> Jim Brown, and Sam Cooke, and all four of them talking about where they're at in their life and careers and how do they use their voice and platform to incite change in the kind of civil rights era. Interesting. Okay. Ticket stubs on that. Steps. So four and a half out of five, too. I love oh. the conversation that they have. All four of them have such great chemistry, this brotherhood. And how do we today deal with our voice and incite change? And what is the best way to make the change that we want to in our own everyday life? And Regina King, phenomenal actress, phenomenal director. I just love everything that she brings to the table. All intense picks this week. Yeah, so make sure really then you good. just like palate cleanse with an episode of The Office after you watch <laughs> all of these. Okay, Paul? <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You can Thanks, visit Paul. Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for updates on movies and streaming services. You can also listen to Paul on The Colleen and Bradley Show on My Talk 1071 every Friday, or watch him on his YouTube channel, also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. And TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting, and now is a great time to shop at Muska because you can take 30 to 50% off specially marked items in store during their display sale. So you can shop their locations in Roseville or Eden Prairie. The discounts are for in-store items only, and only select items are available at a discount, but go in there and check it out. And you can also always shop online for other great products at muscalighting.com. Next up, we're going to show you what grocery stores around the world put into their American section. Fascinating! And the results are fascinating. <laughs> Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.